Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Jerry Berman, and I'm the chair, perhaps for life, of the Internet Caucus <laughs> Advisory Committee, which is now over 200 organizations that work with the Internet Caucus uh, to plan our, our yearly program of forums and speakers and to help educate members of Congress and their staff and the public about all things Internet. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the fifth State of the Net conference, which is an, our now our annual kickoff event at the start of a, of a new Congress and a new year. And certainly, this is it. Um, the Internet is in transition. We have a new administration, which is in transition. And you have a very full program, and you know that we face many issues as the internet continues to grow and prosper and face a number of challenges. Uh, first of all, my job today was to, first of all, introduce uh, Congressman Rick Boucher, uh, the co-chair of the Internet Caucus, and now uh, the, the new subcommittee chair of the Telecommunications Subcommittee of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Um, as you all know, Rick Boucher knows all things communications and all things internet, and I think his tenure will be uh, a very exciting one. Unfortunately, uh, Rick could not be with us today. He was called away last evening. His mother is gravely ill. He had to fly out of town, and he really expresses his apologies because I know that he wanted to evangelize and speak to you today. And so our prayers are with Rick and his, and his gravely old mother. Um, and so uh, Rick won't be with us, but he will be leading the telecommunications subcommittee. And just a couple of things that you should know about him who, for those who haven't followed his career. When we think of the Internet and its founding, one of the key moments was in the early 90s when an amendment was passed, the National Science Foundation Act, which permitted for the first time commercial traffic across the internet. And from there, transformed from a research network into the global innovative communications engine that we know today. So he was really and is one of the founders of this whole space. Um, and if there's an architecture of the Internet, there's a policy architecture, and Rick Boucher has been a leader in that. His job then was to the pleasure of introducing our speaker from the Obama transition team. Uh, we are pleased and proud to have Blair Levin, who is the team leader of the Technology, Innovation, and Government Reform Task Force of the Obama Transition. So he's been working with everyone in this space that's advising the, the new administration on the architecture, their policy plans, on where they plan to go. Um, Blair really needs no introduction. He was chief of staff to Reed Hunt when he was chairman of the FCC. Uh, in the early 90s, we were joking just, just uh, on the way in that one of the great achievements of the 1996 telecom rewrite, which, which Blair helped to oversee at the staff level, was that it really didn't do much to the Internet and left it for another day, uh, which allowed, I think, a lot of innovation to take place um, over the last decade and a half. And I think he's proud of that achievement. We're proud that he did it. Um, but uh, he's, he is on a tight schedule. Um, it is, we are proud that this is, I think, the first time uh, that the, the Innovation Task Force has, has been able to comment publicly at least about some of their, their major plans or, and the, the architecture and the things that they've been considering. Um, Blair cannot take questions. He is on a tight schedule and um, uh, has many miles to go. But uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Blair Levin. <laughs> 